Um, Commissioner, do you accept that your change in policy on police pursuits has led to more ram raids, particularly across Auckland? No, I don't. Um, the people who are involved in these ram raids, uh, many of them are under 15. Uh, we need to look seriously at why those kids are not productively engaged. There are a lot of kids not going to school post-COVID. Um, the policy we are looking at, um, you know, there's a real balance again to be struck here. And um, the 10 years before the policy change, we killed 60 people through police pursuits. No one has died in a police pursuit since we changed the policy. But obviously there's a balance. And the question is, well, for what offence would we be prepared to put the public at risk uh, by engaging in a pursuit? So you're looking at changing your pursuits policy? We are looking at fine-tuning it, um, but it'll, it will be in the nature of uh, a fine-tuning if there's any change. The fundamental position lines up with what other jurisdictions are doing uh, and looks like international best practice. Is this something that you have decided to do off your own bat, or is the government telling you to do this? This is my decision. It sits with me, and it's not the government's place to dictate Do you that. Do you feel you made a mistake changing that policy? Uh, no, I don't. I, I have no regrets about saving the lives that we've saved. Um, I do them. find, uh, you know, it's, clearly it's massive responsibility to work out where the balance sits, and we have to get it right. Um, the reality is, if we change the policy to pursue in certain circumstances, uh, then we do increase the risk, and, and inevitably there'll be consequences, and it's, uh, in any given case, it can be hard to justify why a certain thing happened when you look, have to look at that book. And, and there will be dairy owners and shop owners in Auckland who are literally sleeping in front of a CCTV camera saying, I'm sorry, the consequences should be borne by the person who, takes, who decides to take illegal action. Yeah, look, of course, but the problem is uh, we don't get to decide who dies when a pursuit um, crashes. Uh, we need to remember we are holding these young people to account too. We've laid literally hundreds uh, of uh, charges for young people involved in these ram raids, um, that in itself is not going to solve the problem. It's an important thing to do, um, but clearly you're not going to send a bunch of under 15 year olds to prison. So where are the other solutions coming out of community, coming out of understanding why these kids aren't well engaged, because uh, we can arrest them as much as you like. Uh, in the end, if they back out, back into the same environment, that meant they, they went and did that in the first place, then that's where our problem sits. All right. Commissioner, as always, I really appreciate you coming on the programme. Thank you very much for your time this morning.